All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about how that you are a light. So if you're someone who's chosen, if you're someone who God wants to use, if you're someone that's destined to do something different, like you're just destined for something else and you know that you know that you're destined to do something else. You you have a light to you that's different. It's not it's not the same. This is why this is why you kind of get like di just different perspectives on things. Like you just see things differently, and it's not necessarily like you see them differently. It's like you're wrong. You just see the truth about everything because you're supposed to be a light. And because 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 you're a light. You're, you're going to see certain things as like the truth about these things, right? You're going to see like what's going on around you and you're going to see the truth about them. And a lot of people that live like worldly people or people that just live in the world, they don't really see it that way. That's why um, a lot of people see their life as kind of like something just to just to accept. Just like this is just how it is. It's not going to change. It's not going to be this. You know, it's not going to be that. It's never, it's going to be, it's always going to be like this, blah, 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 oh, just all this stuff. But God did not make you the same way though. God made you a light for a reason. Be because you have the light, you're able to change things. You're able to change things and create them into better, create things into stuff that's right. Things that are more righteous, things that are better. And because you're this light though, Whenever people see you, because because being being a light also is you're exposed to everything, right? Nothing is hidden from you. Whenever you see things, you're gonna see the truth about them, whatever it is. You're just gonna see the actual truth. You're gonna see like if there's lies, if there's manipulations, if there's just corruption, if there's injustice, you're gonna just see everything. Because that's how God made you to be, because you you're you're made to see these things and Whenever you're a light like this and then you go through life, it's, it's going to be really hard for you to kind of tolerate certain things, right? It's going to be hard for you to really tolerate like what, whatever you needed to tolerate, like things that the world does, you know? But because, because you have a hard time tolerating these things, people might look at you as like, oh, this person's being arrogant or like this person's being this or this person's being delusional or it's this and that. So... If you're a light, you're 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 not really made to just accept the world as it is, right? You're not made to just be like, okay, I'm gonna go fit in, I'm gonna do this. This is just how the world is, all that stuff. No, the world is constantly changing. The world always changes. And if you're a light, you're not made to be the person that's just accepting things how it is, just accepting corruption, just accepting injustice, just accepting oppression, just accepting all these things. Like it's not it's not in you. If if you're a person who's a light, because that's not what God made you for. So, but because you're like this too, and we know that there's a demonic regime too. There's a demonic regime where, as the Bible says, the devil is the God of this world. And the devil likes to create things that are, that are wicked, right? And wants to preach sexual immorality, likes to preach the lust, likes to, likes to preach the, lo the love of money, likes to preach a lot of these things that kind of just hurt a lot of people. Just likes to preach a bunch of stuff. And since you have eyes to see, you, you have eyes to see because God exposes everything to you. You see these things and you know, you know that they're wrong. And when you see them because you're a light, you know, you know that these things are kind of wrong because you see them and you're like, like, this, is, this isn't necessarily like really right. Like, this is kind of wrong. It's like, it's not correct, really. It's kind of like, it's kind of messed up. You know, you see it it's like that. But um, God exposes these things to you because he, he wants you to be able to have influence on other people. This is why I say, if you truly know that you have been chosen, if you have been kind of used by God, you, you're going to know that the things that you see and the, fe the feelings that you feel are not wrong. Like they're not wrong. And you see them and you're like, this is kind of messed up. Like this is not right. Or like, this is incorrect. This is not right. And you're not, you're not a person that's made to settle, right? Because if you're alive, you're not made to just kind of accept the world as it is. You're made to kind of change the world, lead people into better, like the better things, the stuff that's right. And that's not, not let them fall into wicked things, not, the, not let them fall into uh, evil things. So 
whenever you're whenever you're like this though this is also why you suffer so much because you you have constant opposition against you you have constant bickering with people and conflicts with people and fighting with people because you have a totally different view on the world like people see it as this is how the world is you got to fit in into this world and you have to do you know do what you need to do but you see it as as, as in like no this is wicked this is evil this is not right i need to change this thing and that's how you see it this is why this is why it's hard for you to kind of just like connect to cer certain people and kind of just like accept the things that are going on like you can't really accept you're gonna be like no this is not right like this, this is gonna hurt the world like this is gonna do this so and whenever when, whenever you're a, a kind of a light like this in the world people see that people see that no matter where you go people see that you're a light and because because you're this type of light People don't really realize like why they want to talk to you, right? Like they'll just they'll they'll talk to you and like just want to chill with you, but they can't really realize it. And like you might even have people that come to you that are kind of like struggling with like a lot of dark things, whatever it is, a lot of dark things, and they're gonna talk to you. And they might not even know why they want to talk to you. They're just talking to you, and you're like, hold up, this is like a whole stranger. So because you're the, you're the type of person that's made to bring people out of darkness, like this is what you're called to do if you're if you're someone who's called by god this this is what you're called to do you're made to pull people out of darkness and also because you're made to call people out of darkness you you, you get put in dark situations like wicked situations to see the truth about these things because if you've never seen the truth about these things whatever these dark situations are you wouldn't have necessarily known like how to how to see it or how to like see the truth about it so you get put into a lot of dark situations because you're made to get into dark situations but you're not, you're not made to stay there you're made to see it and see the truth about it and then you learn from it and then you're able to take people out of it you take yourself out of it first and then you're able to take people out of it that's how that's how people who are chosen by god are and um because because you like that though and you're fighting against dark principalities so it's a it's a spiritual war and because it's a spiritual war you're gonna you're gonna have to suffer a lot of kind of oppression you have to suffer going through addictions you're gonna have to suffer going through just seeing wicked and evil things you have to suffer going through seeing things that are just not necessarily right you're gonna have to start seeing a bunch of these things and your your whole entire essence too your whole entire personality and your whole entire spirit Whenever you're do whenever you're in like dark things and like evil things, you're not the type of person that stays with it. You, you can't just go into that dark thing and just stay there and just let yourself get, you know, get, get devoured basically, right? Because you see through it, you see through it, you see the truth about it and you're like, no, this is not right. Like people need to come out of this. And uh, the, that's why the Bible says you are the God. Of, I mean, you are the light of this world, not the God. <laughs> you're the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. You're, you're made to bring people back to light right you may you, you're made to bring people back to something that's righteous something that's good not not being stuck into oppressions and strongholds and all these things so but this is this is how your this is how your light is gonna i mean this is how your life is gonna be because you get put into situations where you don't even want to be in right if you're a chosen if you're someone who's chosen you're gonna be kind of almost i wouldn't say forced but you're gonna go through situations because you're gonna see the world for what it is, and you have a high set of empathy too. So you're gonna see like the darkness of the things people do. You're gonna see like the wickedness. You're gonna see things like just stuff that are wrong. You're gonna see all these things. And and when you're someone who's used by God, you're gonna have to be able to see through these things and get people out of them, right? And that's what you have to do. This is why your life is kind of like hard. This is why you go through like a lot of suffering because you see like a lot of things and like it's not right. You're just like, man, this is kind of, this is just, this is just uh, messed up. Like this is wrong. And then you're supposed to see things that way because you're a light. You're not, you're not someone who's supposed to stay in the dark. You're supposed to be in the light and you're supposed to bring people out of things. Get people out of things. Get people out of like evil things, wicked things, op oppressive things, addictions. Uh, sexual immoralities, lust, sins. You're supposed to just get people out of all these things. So, but yeah, you're you're a light. Like if you if you truly know that you have a calling on you, 
and you can feel it in your spirit that you do. You can feel it in your spirit that you do. It's it's really unexplainable. But if you're if you're someone who's chosen, you're gonna know. You're just gonna know. It's it's not really explainable. You just have a feeling inside of your spirit that's like, wait, I'm supposed to do something different. I don't know what it is, but I'm supposed to do something different. So, but yeah, this is how this is how your life is gonna go. And just don't just don't fear because. God always says to fear not, and God is taking you out of every situation. God had you in situations, and God is taking you out of them. So no matter how hard it gets, it's, you're never gonna you're never gonna perish, right? You're just supposed to learn. You're supposed to see these things because you have been gifted with a lot of skills to be able to see the darkness and get people out of the dark. That's what you do. You just boom, get people out, get people out, get people out, get people out. That's that's what you're skilled to do. That's what God has gifted you gifted you with. So. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, of course, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. Uh, don't forget to comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you guys. Hopefully this video helped.